Hi guys, I just want to show you how you can um, attach your push pin leads into either tennis pads or into alligator clips in order for you to use your FSM device to be able to do your protocols. So let me put these push pin leads. You can separate them out into fours if needed like that, but to more efficient, you would add both together like that when you are using uh, physical tens pads, just so you can apply instead of four tens pads, you can put, apply two. So then you just push them in of course, in there, that like that, and then you would apply this tense pad onto your body, depending where you want to put it in that regard, depending on the protocol. That's how easy that is. Um, same time, what we do, if we were gonna use, theoretically say, our alligator clips, we're gonna, everything's color-coded, so it makes it easier for you, so you're gonna apply it to this specific color. So in this case, we have green with green. Um, we're gonna use all four of these alligator clips. You have blue, with blue as an example from the same lead that separates out. And then these will then be applied theoretically. So if you have a wet towel, you wanna to put it as we would do in clinic around the neck or something like that, then you would apply these um, to your towel in general. You hook them on to a towel like that. That's how easy that is. And then if you wanna check quickly your battery life in general of the device, it's very simple. We're gonna always use the protocol button kind of see all the different protocols that we have available and we can create a batch uh, protocol to make it easier. But let's go back to the start. In general, we're gonna press back. <clears throat> we see the main menu. And then there, we're gonna go down to the about part. Um, and then you can see there, um, in terms of the battery, we just did see, we went to the number two in the about section to see battery status. And that tells us how much hours we have remaining of use of this battery. So that's a simple thing, um, but in general, for basic stuff, if you wanna see all the protocols that are available, there's 99 in this one specifically, but in general, yours will have something different. Um, all the protocols will be available there that you can just literally go to push to the right and then press start. And then that will start. So of course, right now we have no leads in there and that's why you see the red lights going off. Um, when there are leads in there and they're attached to your body, those lights should not turn on. That's the key thing. If they turn on, there's something kind of loose possibly. So you want to troubleshoot to make sure that the leads are stuck onto you of, um, or if the connection is not uh, connected properly. Um, and that's the simple way to kind of troubleshoot it. Otherwise, if you want to run things in tandem, um, say you have like, you're given 10 different protocols and you want to run three of them at the same time, we can kind of go back we can go to batch protocols and then batch protocols, there's nine different areas or nine different slots here um, in order to put in for physically um, different programs. So you can kind of, again, click to the right. And then after clicking to the right, you can physically choose which program you want to put in there. So here we had kind of the small intestine. So then we choose to the right again or press start. And then now that's our batch number one. In that regard so now we have that as a small test number one same kind of idea you'd cl uh, click to the right and then you can change that so now we have number two as our central stress response and so on and so forth so you can put a couple of different protocols together and then when you're ready to run those protocols you go up to number one you press start once you press start <clears throat> then it's going to run all those in tandem so when number one finishes it's going to go to number two to number three etc etc same kind of idea and then if you ever need light, you can push the back light button there um, in order to be able to see things a little bit clearer in the evening time. And when you're running protocols in general too, so let's just click this, even though it's red lights up here, which means you're not connected. But as you can see, there's a milliamps right there. So what we can do with this area, if it's too itchy or it's too strong for you, you can decrease that during the actual running of it, right? or you can increase it if you need to. I wouldn't go more than 150, I don't think it's necessary, but I would go down to whatever is viable. So sometimes when the lights are on um, for a sensitive patient, we might have to go down to even 50, or they have to be hydrated and mineralized in order for them to connect properly. But this is just a, a bonus part to understand if something's happening, but uh, in general, if you're not understanding what's going on, you can always contact us for us to figure it out for you, to troubleshoot best for you and figure out what's going on. But that's the basic stuff in terms of what we're talking about here. So see now I'm pressing stop, which stops the physical program. And it goes through each of the different batches until the, all the batches are done. So you're going to keep pressing stop. 
until nine are over because we had those set up. <clears throat> and then if you just want to check all the protocols, you can quickly check what's available. Or if you've done like a recent protocol and you want to redo it again, you can go to the recent protocols and check what's there and then just click play when you find what you want to. So example, if we have insulin resistance here, we'd click play and then we'd run it right away. And that'll be a one off in general. So it's, it's pretty simple. Um, nothing too kind of fancy here, but that's the basic uh, part of it right now. If there are any questions, feel free to ask and we can help you troubleshoot and make you utilize this to your best of your abilities.